What's good with them people? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? It's your partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. You know what I'm talking about? How is y'all doing? You know what I'm talking about? On this synthetic struggle Saturday, man. You don't say synthetic struggle, bro. What are you talking about, brother? <laughs> don't worry. We're going to get into it. Well, before we do that, what's good? People like he, he, ha, ha. You know what I'm talking about, man? Ken in the pen, man. All my folks incarcerated, bro. All my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep the head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Did I say Ken in the pen? I don't know, but if I didn't go get this stick up in stores now, you know what I'm talking about? You can go and get you one off of 76 MacArthur. They saw it out there. It'll be back though. Giants liquor is where I'm talking about. 82nd Hillside Barbershop. They say somebody put them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now you know, because I tell you every morning, but just in case you forgot, hey, you can come get them from me. You know what I'm talking about? You can come get them from me. Woo, y'all see? You know what I'm talking about? Brady Show is getting good with that spread. Hey, come get them from me. You know what I'm talking about? Did you see them? You know what I'm talking about? But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, you know what I'm talking about? You can go and get one of them things off of Amazon. Make sure you copy your hardback. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, Stick up two coming soon. You know what I'm talking about? Funka Die Tribe 2 coming real soon. He on talk about, man. Uh-oh, what's that swing? That finger, young man. He on talking about. You talking about this right here. That's what a record was. I played, huh? Come on with it. Worldwide INC, man. Come on with it. Worldwide Incorporated, man. Come on with it. Worldwide. He on talking about. They going to say, bro, what does that mean? I'm going to continuously tell you it means everybody. He on what I'm talking about. And Dougal Fresh, Mike, Lil Rue. Not Lil Rue. Lil Rue, he you know don't talk about Ta Ta the player. That's who comes next, man. Same thing, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. Now, let's get through these disclaimers, man. You know what I'm talking about? But before we do that, mama says, and mama always says, boy, brush them whiskers when you're on TV. Even if they got a hole in them. He you don't know talk about, man. Uh, where's I at, man? Man, my coffee. This still gonna be Coffee Chronicles without the coffee. He <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. I gotta, I gotta go get it. You know? But uh, a good brother like myself, I don't promote no uh drug usage. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. Nah. Good brother like myself, I don't promote no uh drug sellage. Mm -mm, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. You know what I'm talking about? I don't uh promote no alcohol consumption. No. You know what I'm talking about? Don't take a sip. I mean, not sip huh, of the sippage. You know what I'm talking about? No, nah, man. Don't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no crime. Mm -mm, you know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no violence. No. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no domestic violence. No, nah, man. Keep your hands off the people. People, he on talking about I, he on talking about don't, he on talking about promote, he on talking about no negativity, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, man, me, man, I don't promote shit, he on talking about they was talking to Brown, I don't promote shit, he on talking about, oh, I promote it, y'all go ahead and do what you gonna do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, young ladies and gentlemen. But a good brother like myself, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't prejudiced. No, man. A good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. No, a good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the little people. No, man. No, he don't talk about me. Man, I ain't got no problems with nobody. He don't talk about they was talking to me. He don't talk about I just love me some everybody. You know what I'm talking about? As a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? And that love. You know what I'm talking about? That love. Back to YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here. Fuck with your partner, man. Hey, 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 hey. Check it out, man. Come fuck with a nigga one time. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man, how's you doing? You know what I'm talking about, man? How's y'all doing on this synthetic struggle side? He on talking about, you say, bro, synthetic struggle? What are you talking about, bro? Oh, we gonna get into it. But before we do that, uh, shout out to everybody who ain't good with electronics, but are still wear a wire. <sighs> Can you hear me? <laughs> uh, I see you fucking, he on talking about. Oh, man, this one right here is going to be a little short, man, because I got these things to do. You know what I'm talking about? I got a few things to do today. You know what I'm talking about? With synthetic struggle, man, they're going to say, bro, what is you talking about today? Oh, we're going to get into it. It go like this. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I wish I could make it somewhere like Mexico with this motherfucker right here, man. I'd have a ball. Hey, I'm talking about because y'all see me in the, in the crowd of Latinos. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I just cracked myself up, daughter. But uh, synthetic struggle, man. Say, like, bro, what are you talking about? That just right there, synthetic struggle. Now, y'all all know what uh, synthetic mean, don't you? If you don't, just go look it up in the dictionary. But that's how we treat these struggles nowadays, man. You say synthetic struggle. Yeah, man, because the struggle be man-made. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? It really don't be a real struggle. It be a man-made struggle, man. Y'all, I thought I had some, but I guess I don't. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Y'all hold on a tad. <laughs> I'll just be right back. Mama always here. Don't blow your nose on camera, boy. You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, mama. You know what I'm talking about? Top of the world, mama. Top of the world. You know what I'm talking about, man? But on the real, man, on the synthetic struggle Saturday, man, that's just what it is, man. The synthetic ass struggle, right? Because I tell you, man, despite, I don't know what y'all be doing, right? But bro finds itself in some interesting places, you know what I mean? And sometimes just be there to witness some interesting conversations, you know what I'm talking about? And when these conversations be going on, I'm the type of motherfucker who's just listening, you know what I'm talking about? I don't really, uh, unless I'm asked specifically something, and even then I try to, I try to uh, stay diplomatic, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man, if that was the right word. <laughs> yeah, even then I try to, man, you know what I'm talking about? But uh, it'd be like I'd be right there when some interesting talk be going on, you know what I'm talking about? And sometimes it'd be interesting to, to me the way motherfuckers just think, you know what I'm talking about? But they over here, uh, and we listen to man and, and the people, right? And they talking and they talking. And the more these motherfuckers got to talking, bruh, the more I got to realizing, bruh, these motherfuckers, man, it ain't even no struggle. <laughs> All this shit they talking about right here, man, is man-made. You know what I'm talking about? So that's how we got the synthetic struggle Saturday, bruh. Because a lot of this shit don't even be no struggle. It don't. It just be some, we be struggling to let go of shit. <laughs> That'd be the motherfucker problem, bruh. We be struggling to let go of shit, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Because <coughs> <coughs> uh, uh, the part of the conversation uh, I was around, you know what I'm talking about, the witness. You now I guess some bitch start fucking with some nigga. He on time, I, I don't know. You get what I'm saying? But somehow the bitch just won't leave the nigga alone. You get what I'm saying? And the bitch, uh, like the bitch acted like it was her motherfucking, uh, like duty to the 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 watch the nigga or something, you know what I'm talking about? And this is all I want to say, people. You know what I'm talking about? Because uh, I'm talking about the nephew, sis, old man, old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Because I think we might have a, a a problem with this, or we might not. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just telling you what I seen with bros on eyes. You know what I'm talking about? So, man, if you break up with somebody, y'all, at that point, it's over. You know what I'm talking about? Now, y'all might meet up again or something. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all might still be in negotiations. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Man? I don't know. You get what I'm saying? But when it's over, it's over, right? And, and I know y'all ain't going to do this, but the proper thing to do when it's over is just go your own separate way, bro. You get what I'm saying? Sis, nephew, sis, old man, old lady. You know what I'm talking about? The proper uh protocol is just to go your own way, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, I don't know, start over. Just start your new chapter. You get what I'm saying? Sis. And nephew. But that ain't happening in the today's world. You know what I'm talking about? What's happening is, and this is how niggas get more like business too, man. It'll be over. And one motherfucker to take it upon they self, you know what I'm talking about, to stalk the other motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? Because somewhere down the line, somebody felt uh, either the nigga stalking the bitch or the bitch is stalking the nigga. You get what I'm saying? But somewhere down the line, a motherfucker that felt like they've been wronged. You get what I'm saying? So what they do is, what they does is, they sit there and they lightweight become stalkers. So now you done broke up with a motherfucker, but a motherfucker is just sitting around watching you. You get what I'm saying? What Just watching everything you do, having a motherfucking opinion about your life. But they acting like whatever the fuck you doing, even though y'all broke up, it's a struggle to them. Like, whatever the fuck you doing, it's hard for them to cope with. Like, you living your life is hard for them to deal with or some shit like that. I, I didn't get that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Be because the, I'm just talking about the 
conversation. I was I really wasn't in the conversation. I'm talking about the conversation I was listening to. You know what I'm talking about? That's better words, boy, man, because I ain't had nothing to say. <laughs> I, ain't, I can't tell you that, man. You know what I'm talking about? I can't tell you nothing, man. But, old punk ass bitch. I, I, my bad, sis. I can't even say. But she was acting like old punk ass bitch. You know what I mean? She's sitting here crying, talking about all this shit that this nigga's doing after he's moved on. And that just let me see right there that, like, uh, on a synthetic struggle, the shit that motherfuckers be worried about and act like they struggling with, I ain't talking about everybody, you know what I'm talking about? I'm basically just talking about this bitch right here, you know what I'm talking about? But there's other people who do this shit too, you know what I mean? But I ain't, you get what I'm saying? But people put the weight of other people on them, bread, and act like they struggling with it, you know what I'm talking about? And, and that was just crazy to me. You act like you can't move on because this nigga then went on. You know what I mean? Now this motherfucker got a whole bunch of questions and why and we been together this long. And Man, if you don't get the... Okay, y'all been together that long. But guess how long you been apart? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? You might as well... <laughs> man, that shit work both ways, man. You get what I'm saying? But on the synthetic struggle... And it's not that just with that situation. But we put struggle on ourselves, bruh. We just be struggling with letting shit go. And that's all that shit be, man. That shit be man-made. It really ain't nothing to worry about. It's just something that you choose to worry about. And it really don't have nothing to do with your life. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It really don't, man. But you sitting there acting like you can't move on because you was in love. And, and I was just speaking on this shit the other day, bruh. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I was just speaking on this shit, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? I just was. How we act like it's invisible entities holding us back. So listen, man, if you uh <clears throat> was fucking with somebody, man, and then it was over, bro, it's just over. But what y'all would do, because y'all be mad at motherfuckers. Here go one for you good church people. So y'all get mad at motherfuckers, then y'all start sicking God on people. You get what I'm saying? So. This is why you really get mad. Because while you steady looking at a motherfucker that ain't even paying attention to you no more, you get what I'm saying? Motherfucker just go on doing what they do. Because you feel some kind of way that you've done wrong. So now you spend all your time trying to play get back. You spend all your time trying to play, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to get you, and all this old stupid ass shit right there, right? And y'all get mad when y'all feel people karma don't happen quick enough. You get what I'm saying? So if you felt the motherfucker did you wrong and you broke up with him and they didn't some tra tragic didn't happen to him right there, you uh <clears throat> it's like you watch people until they had their mishaps because that's what make you feel good. That's what you looking for because somewhere in your head you done told yourself that you was done wrong when really that shit just life ain't nobody been done wrong. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nobody been done wrong, but that's the way you wanna uh download the information you get what i'm saying so you just sit there and you watch a motherfucker and you just waiting because you done told yourself god gonna get them you know what i'm talking about that's what you said when you're breaking up oh you gonna do me like that god don't like ugly and all and all that shit right there bro you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about for real so what you do now is you sit around and watch a motherfucker because you just waiting for him to fall you know what i'm talking about Synthetic struggle Saturday it is. And you put all this shit on yourself for nothing. Sitting around here watching somebody else just waiting for them to have a mishap. You know what I'm talking about? So you really just spend all your motherfucking time playing get back. You get what I'm saying? You won't even let a motherfucker go on about their motherfucking life. You know what I'm talking about? And you'll be surprised the majority of motherfuckers that get up. To go look and claim, go look at motherfuckers they claim they don't like. You get what I'm saying? But they stay glued with their eyes on these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Just waiting for anything, bruh. Anything, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? These motherfuckers that made a comment talking about some shit that happened in their life. And you done went to their page, read their comment. And somehow you made their comment be about you. Because this is what you want. You know what I'm talking about? But really these people that move the fuck on. You get what I'm saying? But somehow you playing with yourself and your synthetic struggle that you want to tell yourself that these people still fucking with you somehow because these people ain't doing nothing but living their life. You ever seen that motherfucker? 
First of all, you was the one keeping the motherfucker down. And you ain't never even peeped that. As soon as nigga got away from you, nigga flourished. <laughs> you was the motherfucker problem, but you don't see that. You know what I'm talking about? Then you start saying shit like, oh, when a motherfucker was with me, he wouldn't do this. The bitch, he couldn't. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You didn't get a nigga no energy to do nothing. That nigga that went over there and got with somebody that got him, got him some good energy going, don't he? Now, you sitting around there talking about, oh, that nigga never had a car when he was with me. He never had a job when he, and all this shit right here. Because you didn't give him the energy to, bitch. So you don't understand how hard it is for a nigga to think when you running your motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm talking about? But you don't get that. But you quick to go look. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas and bitches just do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. And it's been like this. You know what I'm talking about? It was just funny to me how... All the problems this lady was talking about she was having or whatever, it really wasn't even no problem. It was some man-made shit. And we do that a lot. You know what I'm talking about? Synthetic struggle. We'll just create a problem, bruh. We just will. Or if we don't create a problem, we still holding on to some shit we don't got to. And we good for asking why. If you was fucking with a motherfucker for 20 years, right? And one day they just woke up and said they didn't want to fuck with you no more. At that point, all you can do is respect them people's decision, bruh. I don't get why motherfuckers always want to investigate the reason why. Why do you even need to know? If a motherfucker want to go, why do you need to know the reason they want to go, bruh? It doesn't matter. They want to go. You know what I'm talking about? When I was a little youngster, that was one of the things OG told me, man. You know what I'm talking about? That was one thing OG uh, told me, man. What was my people's name from down there, 89 somewhere, man? Uh... Uh, man, I want to say it was like G-Funk and Big Kev, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think it was G-Funk and Big Kev in there, man, but the man told me when I was just a tad, uh, just a lad, man, you know what I'm talking about, just a tad bit young, you know what I'm talking about? Say, man, don't never ask a motherfucker why. And guess what I did? I said, why? <laughs> why you don't never ask a motherfucker why? And the way OGs broke it down to me, bro, because it don't matter, they bust, they move, bro. When somebody bust they move, does it really matter why they bust they move, bro? They bust it. You know what I'm talking about? Why they did it is because that's what they wanted to do, bro. So if you ask a motherfucker why, you just setting yourself up for uh, you really setting yourself up for something you don't even want to hear. You ask a motherfucker why, then if a motherfucker really told you, you know what I'm talking about? You act like that's going, you know what I'm talking about? You just act, you, you gonna put a motherfucker in a position to tell you something you don't even want to hear. It don't even matter why, bro. You know what I'm talking about? It, 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 the move was more important. Fuck why they did it. You get what I'm saying? They did it. You get what I'm saying? But on the synthetic struggle Saturday, we uh we got a lot of man-made struggles. You get what I'm saying? That we just put on ourselves. And I'm talking about this shit, it, it, it's bigger than uh, niggas and bitches, you get what I'm saying? It just don't stop there. Just, we just put a bunch of shit on ourselves, And what we really be doing is struggling to let shit go. We let shit bother us that just shouldn't bother us, you get what I'm saying? And we'll put all that stress and struggle on our motherfucking self, you feel what I'm saying? But it's man-made. It's something that we ain't even got to worry about, you get what I'm saying? It's something we ain't even got to worry about. It's something actually you can put yourself, because like, we all like, say if we don't like what's going on, we all have the ability just to get away from that shit. You get what I'm saying? But somehow we act like we don't. We act like we stuck here. You get what I'm saying? We just act like we, we, we stuck. Like we, there is no other option for us. Like we don't have the motherfucking right just to spin off like Barry Sanders on third one. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hut. <laughs> it be like we just act like it's crazy, man. We just put ourselves through a bunch of man made ass problems. But we, we, uh, we go around and try to act like that's our struggle. And, and it's really just man made. You struggle with yourself thinking about the wrong shit. You know what I'm talking about, man? And that be the struggle. But that should be, that should be synthetic as a motherfucker, bro. It really don't even be a, 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 a real-life problem, bro. You know what I'm talking about? It really don't. It just be some shit that we done made bigger than what it really needed to be. 
We got a lot of shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? But we are considered a struggle. You know what I'm talking about? But it's really just man-made, bro. It's some shit that we choose to worry about when we really don't. So on the synthetic struggle Saturday, man, you know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> you in control of what you think about, worry about all that shit, happy about all that shit. You in control of that shit, you know what I'm talking about? You might want to tap into that a little bit more, you know what I'm talking about? And, it's, uh, and like when you do that, you I think you might be able to control your happiness a little bit more, or you might not, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You might be able to control your happiness a little bit more. Or you might be a little bit more sadder. <laughs> I don't know. Try it. <laughs> With that one right there, man. If you don't remember that, they'll always remember. It don't cost nothing. Just to show a little bit of that love. You know what I'm talking about?